You too. Woo. It has been a minute. What is up, guys? Uh, welcome back to the channel. There's a lot of you that that are new that just have showed up uh, in recent months, which is crazy interesting because I haven't posted in a really freaking long time. So, if you're new to the channel and you just showed up because you like some of my older content and you decided to subscribe based off off of that, um, thank you. Y'all are awesome. I really, really appreciate it. Um, and actually, if you are watching this video right now, do me a huge favor and drop me a comment as to what got you interested in my channel, why you subscribed. Um, I'm kind of at a crossroads with this video in the sense that I, I, I started by creating and posting, um, you know, photography, filmmaking, creative business kind of content. That's what I do for a living. I own my own business. I'm a filmmaker uh, based here in State College, Pennsylvania. And then I transitioned into, well, I didn't transition, but I started posting some uh, running content on this channel as I was training for uh, my first marathon. So um, I'm not sure how to go about this moving forward because these are two very different uh, kind of niches, two different, very different types of content. So, um, I don't know if I should keep it all here, one central channel and just figure out how to make it mesh together or if I should kind of separate the two. Uh, so if you're watching right now, drop me a comment. Let me know why you're watching, what kind of content you're interested in. Do you think I should do a separate channel for the running stuff and keep this channel more photo video, uh, creative business focused? How should I go about that? I know what I want to do, what kind of I have a preference for, um, but I want to hear from you guys what you would enjoy more. But with that, um, this video is about running. So if you're here for photo and video content, sorry. Now, if you watched any of my previous marathon prep uh, training video series type situation that I was doing, Last fall, you'll know I was training for a fall race uh, in fall 2021. Uh, that race got canceled due to COVID. And then I rescheduled to run the Philly Marathon, uh, which was about six weeks later. And then shortly before the Philly Marathon, I ended up getting COVID, so wasn't able to run that race. Um, so it's just kind of been a long journey getting to the point of being able to run a marathon. And that was the last video that I made on this channel was actually um, just kind of saying, I don't know where this is going to go from here, what this is going to look like. Um, but here we are in May of 2022. And at the beginning of the month on May 1st, I ran my first marathon. It was the Pittsburgh marathon and it was awesome. It sounds corny to say this, but, and I'll, I'll get to why I'm about to say this in, in a little bit. It was kind of a life changing <laughs> experience. Uh, which is really, really dope. Um, but I just kind of wanted to make a quick recap video of that experience and put a little little bow um, on the marathon training series that I was shooting last year to run my first marathon uh, before the wheels fell off of the whole thing. Um, so that's this video. I'm going to do a little recap here. Um, Pittsburgh 2022, there's really two things to talk about, two things to recap. One is the emotional kind of dynamic, the emotional side uh, of the marathon experience. And then the second thing to talk about, obviously, is the physical side um, of my marathon experience. On the emotional uh, side, you, you heard me say it a minute ago, it, it was kind of a, a life-changing experience. And I've been trying to put into words why that is, you know, why I kind of feel that way, why... Um, it had such a profound impact on me. And the only thing that I can come up with is running a marathon is, uh, it's so over the top. Like it's so unnecessary that I feel like on the emotional side of things, the only real correct response uh, is gratitude. And so, um, you know, just gratitude for the life that you have, gratitude that you're healthy enough to do something kind of so extreme. Um, gratitude that... Uh, you have a life that affords you the time to train for these things. They take a lot of time, right? And, and not everybody has the luxury, especially not as a, you know, a 28 year old business owner like I am to go out for hours every week um, and devote to, to training for a hobby. Um, gratitude that you can afford 
three to five hundred dollars for shoes every couple of months. Uh, you know, j- I mean, gratitude for the people that got you there. Gratitude that it, it, you know, on a on a much larger scale, um, in a world where people have to walk twenty six plus miles per day to get dirty water out of a mud puddle uh, just to drink, that you can go do something like this on a weekend for leisure um, and, and, and show off. It's just, it puts so much of life into perspective. Uh, and you know, it, to a degree, it makes sense that something that you put so much time and energy and effort into, uh, would have such a profound, uh, impact, or at least it should, right? Like if you just showed up, uh, to run a marathon, after spending months preparing uh, for it, then I really feel like you've got to get some sort of of deep emotional experience out of it. Uh, Running a marathon is kind of a deep, just rich, uh, impactful experience. So with that, moving on to the kind of physical recap, I don't want to spend too much time on this. Uh, If you follow me on Instagram, uh, which you should if you're not, Um, if you follow me on Instagram, you saw me do the race recap kind of in my, my Instagram stories. So I'm not going to rehash all that here. Um, but just kind of the short and skinny of it. Um, I ran a 354, 39, three hour, 54 minute, 39 second marathon. That was my official chip time. And, uh, yeah, I'm pretty stoked with that. It, it, I, I didn't have a necessarily like super tight time goal that I was trying to go out and run for this one. I really just needed to get out there and experience the 26.2 mile distance uh, so that I could train more informed going forward for my next one. The guy that kind of became my my pseudo coach, shout out Bob Schaefer, he, he told me, he's like, you know, don't don't go out with any expectation on time. Go out with the expectation that this one's going to be a learning experience and then we can get you, uh, we can get you fast for the next one. So I knew what I was, what training felt like last fall, um, how I was training for my fall race. And I was hitting pretty much every benchmark to probably be running a three- three hour, 20 minute to three hour, 30 minute marathon in the fall had that race happened. And I knew what training through the winter for this, for Pittsburgh felt like, and I didn't feel nearly as good as I did when I was training for my fall race. So all that to say, I hit my goal, um, but mistakes were made, lessons were learned, and I'm crazy stoked to get training for my next race, which... Uh, brings me to the next point of this video, and that is what's next for me with running. And my next race is October 9th, uh, 2022. It's coming up. It's this fall, and that race is, drum roll, Chicago. I'm really, really stoked. Chicago is one of the world majors. Um, it, you know, it's on a circuit with New York, Boston. Berlin, London, Tokyo. It's a big race. It's a big city. There's a ton of support. Uh, From what I can tell, it's like an absolutely stellar uh, environment. It's a, you know, upper Midwest, flat, fast race course. So um, I'm really, really pumped for it. I'm stoked to get out there and train really hard for this one. Uh, I've set some pretty lofty goals for myself. Goals that are are so lofty that I'm kind of nervous to say them out loud here uh, on camera for the world to hear. Um, I probably will at some point, but as of now, I'm just gonna I'm just gonna keep those to myself because they're they're a little audacious. But uh, I think they're I think they're right on the edge of just audacious enough, um, but not unrealistic. Training for that starts June 6th, so it's coming right up. Depending on when you're seeing this video, um, it may already be here. So with that. I am going to be filming this process uh, and doing another uh, race series. So um, that's kind of why I want to know in the comments, if you guys can leave me a comment, how you would prefer this content to be integrated into my, my sort of um, my channel. If you would prefer me to, to, to make another channel that is running content and then keep this, this channel solely uh, 
you know, creative business and, and filmmaking, et cetera, uh, let me know because there is going to be more running content going forward and more, you know, creative business and filmmaking content. So if you guys want to see it all meshed together, awesome. Let me know. Uh, if you want to see it separated, also awesome. Just let me know in the comments down below. Get subscribed if you're not. Uh, if I end up making a separate channel for running content, get subscribed to that one. Unless you don't want to see running content, then, then don't subscribe to that one. But uh, I really appreciate it, guys. Thank you again for the support. You know, I've, I've been gaining subscribers um, even though I have not been posting and you guys have just been, been showing up and showing love and, and commenting on other videos and I just appreciate it. it. It's, it's, you know, YouTube's a lot of fun whenever you have, uh, you know, some community there that is engaging and active and yeah, I really appreciate it. With that, peace.